It's the Weather Extreme video for Monday, July 27th. I'm James Spann. Hot, muggy summer days this week. Scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. You know the formula. Let's check it out. Water vapor satellite view. Pretty classic summer look. Got a heat ridge a little west of the state. The upper air westerlies. The jet stream is to the north. A pretty good trough in the uh, western states. They could be setting up a, a severe weather event later today for the high plains. We're starting off the day in the 70s. We'll expect a high in the 90s today. Temperatures hotter north and west of here. Heat advisories from Louisiana north into Missouri. But will be hot enough. Again, a pretty good little severe weather outbreak is very uh, possible. In fact, if not likely uh, later today across the high plains, an enhanced risk for parts of the Dakotas. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk for around uh, Des Moines, uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul. And on day three, which is Wednesday, a marginal risk down into Kentucky, but all of that stays north of here. And now understand, every day we'll have storms, but organized severe weather, not likely. And again, it's hard to draw these maps in the summer. This is the QPF chart, the expected rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning. And this is suggesting heavier totals to the south. But again, often people go to the beach this time of the year. If you see that, don't panic. You'll see a pretty decent amount of sun every day, but there will be scattered storms about. And it is true the heavier rains will be on the west coast of Florida. Tampa Bay, Fort Myers looks pretty wet with a broad uh, low-pressure area there. But the good news, out in the tropical Atlantic basin, we see no evidence of any organization. That uh, broad load that's over the Florida peninsula not expected to uh, become anything beyond that. And you can just see a whole lot of dry air out across the deep tropics. And accordingly, tropical storm formation is just uh, not expected this week. So that's good. There's a look at the uh, Q, the uh, GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. That's a pretty impressive trough in the west. And that's the reason severe weather is likely for the high plains. But for us, we are under a ridge, and you know the deal. It's going to be hot and muggy and scattered showers and storms developing later today. And uh, check out the uh, precipitable water values. Goodness. Uh, that's showing a little two-inch spot pretty close to Birmingham, and that is very, very, very high. And you think it's high here. Look at Florida. I mean, they are over two inches over much of the uh, uh, peninsula there. And accordingly, that's why they have uh, flash flood watches. They probably see some dew points down there in the low 80s. Here's a look at the high-res R model today at 3 o'clock. And, and as we always say, the radar is not going to look exactly like that. That's just an idea. But we will have scattered showers and storms around this afternoon. The better chance of those coming after uh, 1 o'clock today. And where they form, they could you know produce heavy rain, lightning, thunder. But uh, organized severe weather is not expected. That's going to be the deal really for the rest of the week. This is tomorrow. We'll be up in the uh, mid-90s. A few spots getting a storm. Same thing Wednesday. Scattered mostly afternoon and evening storms with highs in the middle 90s. Now, Thursday, a surface front kind of drifts down toward uh, the shoals in the northwestern corner of the state. And understand, these synoptic scale maps really don't help you figure out exactly when and where it's going to rain. Nobody knows that. But I do think we will see an increase in the number of showers and storms Thursday with that weak boundary. And the boundary is going to stall out somewhere around here. And this is suggesting... On Friday, the stake would be bisected with drier air north and west of Birmingham and the deeper moisture south and east of Birmingham. Uh, fronts have a very hard time making it that far south at the end of July. Uh, not so sure we get into any dry air for North Alabama, so we'll maintain the chance of scattered showers and storms area-wide with highs dropping back toward 90. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Very uh, deep uh, vortex over Hudson Bay in Canada. And uh, you can see the heat ridge is way off to the west around the four corners. And again, uh, evidence of maybe a stalled boundary somewhere around here. Uh, and again, I just don't think on the first day of August the boundary gets deep into Alabama. So we'll just kind of go with the standard summer forecast of uh, partly sunny, a few scattered showers and storms with a high at or just over 90. And the same thing on Sunday. We can fine-tune that weekend forecast as the weekend gets closer. And this is Monday of next week, a week from today. Same idea, the heat ridge is off to the west. We have a weakness here. Surface boundaries probably dissipated by then. Partly sunny, scattered showers and storms. Low 90s are likely. All right, temperatures off the ensemble for the next 15 days. Pretty typical look there for 
late July, early August, highs mostly in the low 90s and lows mostly in the low 70s. The anomalies, August 3rd through August 9th, pretty close to average for North Alabama, below average up north, and a bit above average down to the south. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. We're on a holiday vacation schedule this week, so one video per day for most days. I'll be headed to St. Louis later today, so the next video will be here tomorrow morning at 7. We'll post notes on the blog, though, later today. And if you can, catch us this evening. Uh, Megan will be in for me on ABC 3340 News tonight at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.